that. Lock er, and unlock. This is Olana. And I'm Isaac. We're, we're moving, moving to, to Hawaii. Hawaii! But first, we're driving from New York City to Seattle with Smiley, our nine year old rescue pity, in our Tesla Model 3, equipped for camping. And we are funding this trip with our Etsy store, meaning we are bringing around 50,000 earrings and 500 envelopes and our label printer on this 11 day cross country road trip. Subscribe to the Travel Bug Bite today! Hey everyone, Isaac here from the Travel Bug Bite, and I'm going to be showing you this nifty new ring that I bought. It was $120. Sounds like a lot for this like plain looking ring, but there's a secret to this ring that I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, this this ring that I usually wear, we bought a bunch of them because I lose rings all the time, and um, we they're made in China it. and they cost five dollars each, and we so we have it twenty. With this one, which does it fit? It better fit. Yes, it does, and it looks very similar. But the secret is that it opens my car. We have a Tesla Model 3, and apparently I can pair it so that I can just tap the side of the car to unlock it and tap the middle to, to have it drive. Um, we'll see. I think we have to be in the car to do this, though. Yeah, we do. Let's go. So there's a few different ways to open the car and to start the car. The one that the car kind of comes with is this uh, key right here. And it's a, it's a key card, like a hotel key card, and you tap it against the side of the window or the, the middle jam, and it opens the car. And so if I try to start the car right now, actually it will work because I have my phone on me, but usually you'd have to put it right here. And that's how you start the car. So if you're giving it to a valet or letting somebody else use your car, that's what you'll have to do. Otherwise, uh, my car is connected to my phone with Bluetooth, and so anytime I even go near the car and try to open it, it automatically opens up. But... Uh, in order, let's see, uh, theoretically this um, ring is supposed to be exactly the same kind of thing according to the car as uh, this car. But you have to set it up, so, right? Because yes, otherwise anyone to, with the ring can exactly. just... So you go to locks, um, I think, and yeah, keys. Right now we have a bunch of different phones, my phone, a key card, my old phone, which I don't need it to have anymore. I can delete that one. Um, another old phone. Don't need that one. You've <laughs> gone through a lot of phones, Isaac. Yeah. And uh, Pixel 3. Okay. That was my old phone. That's your old phone. So. <laughs> what about my old iPhone? Uh, November 3rd, 2020, August 18th, 2020. What's more uh -huh. recent? Uh, I didn't have this phone in either. No, I had it in November. Another Pixel 3. Gosh. <laughs> the August one. Yeah, the old one. All right. So <laughs> now we have my, my phone, my key card, Olin's phone, and a... Uh, Oh my, uh -huh. what? What is all this? These are all really old, like, phones that we had. Pixel 3a, Pixel 3, another old key card. <laughs> there, now there are only three ways to get into this car. My Yay. phone, this key card, all in this phone. So, bonus, how to delete things from your thing. And you can actually change the name of your key card um, and the name of all the phones and everything. Uh, okay, so add plus button right here. Add a phone key or add a key fob. Scan your new oh. key. Begin. New key. And it worked. So Whoa. now I have to tap my my current key. And there we go. Unknown key. Let's call it... Oops. Ring? Uh, ooh, uh, Wedding ring. Uh, I don't know which one is which now. The... No. Uh, if you wait a minute and do it again, well, one will be at nine nineteen. Okay. One eighteen. We'll have to wait. <laughs> dum da da dum. So why are we even exploring all these key Cause, options? Because it's just cool. How about the time you had to call me oh. from a parking lot and have me unlock and start your car? Yeah, there was a time where I didn't have a signal. Uh, the car didn't have a signal, so I couldn't get I couldn't get into the car. Um, because the, I didn't have the key to it, and my phone wasn't set up to it at the time because it was a new phone. So I had to call Olena, and she remotely started the car. I had to borrow somebody else's phone because my phone didn't have a signal either, and she started the car from, like, 
three miles away. So a great thing about the key, uh, or now this ring, which I guess looks kind of, it's kind of bulky, um, but the cool thing about this is you don't need a signal, you can be in the middle of nowhere. and Which we will work. be in the middle yes, of nowhere a lot exactly. on this car trip. So I figured out which one it is. This is a uh, ring, wedding ring. And, uh, you know, the key, you never bring the key with you and you lose your wallet all the time, but you will not lose this ring because, you <laughs> yeah. know, that's dangerous. Exactly. So let's see. Let's leave the car, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my phone on Bluetooth so that it won't let me it wouldn't let me. Um... Or you can just lock the car, but okay, okay. I can lock, lock it. Lock the car from the inside. <laughs> So I just opened the car with my with my ring. Their wedding ring. Yeah, and uh, now I want to drive. Okay, what? pro tip, don't scratch the car while unlocking yeah. it with your ring. Anyway, I would be able to just tap right here, and it would start the car. But since we're filming, we cannot do that right now. So, show us the ring. So it's a pretty cool do ring. Do you feel like a newly married man? It feels very similar to the other ring that I had, actually. It's just a little bit more bulky, but it's really crazy that they can have that technology inside of it. For those of you who are worried about, like, Bluetooth being in your hand, it's not Bluetooth, it's just like a hotel key card. It's a chip, yeah. It's a chip or whatever. It, it doesn't actually, like, transmit any waves it, or Speaking of which, like he was the one worried. He's like, I don't yeah, want to have like, internet on my yeah, finger. Exactly. And I was like, there's, there's no internet in this tiny little ring. <laughs> so let's go out and I'll make sure I unlock on my, uh, once we get out. So, sorry the car's a little dirty. We're getting it detailed. And scratched. Um, but anyway, um, normally when I, uh, when I walk away from the car, it would automatically... Uh, lock itself, but since I have Bluetooth turned on for this testing purposes, I go that lock or, and unlock. That's really cool. Okay, let's do it closer up. So, was it worth it? I don't know if it's worth. Uh, it costs one hundred and twenty dollars on Amazon. I honestly don't know if that's worth it, but uh, it's kind of a cool gadget. The first ring I ever bought you for our wedding. Also cost $120, okay. and it was lost somewhere, and it did not open cars. Yeah. So it looks like I'll no longer need this ring, because I've got this nifty new one that'll open my car. For other cool gadgets that we're going to use on our road trip, subscribe to the Travel Bug Bites.